Hello everyone, Krista here. And I just wanted to touch in really quick about where we are in the moon phase and where the moon is in, in the zodiac and specifically the elemental association of that zodiac and how that applies to gardening at home and on bigger scales if that's what you're at. And this information is specific to uh, the Boise area and climate like Boise and the concepts can be transposed uh, whenever they become relevant. The elements are a common language. And I am filming here in this greenhouse, and I wanted to just spin you, kind of do a little... There's more in here than I can recognize, but there's a lot of citrus, and then in verbena, and um, sugar cane, and uh, lots, of, lots of great things. And it's also very hot, so I have to make this, I'm like shining <laughs> to make this quick. So our current moon is in the is beginning of second quarter. We're in our first half. Again, first half moon is good for above the crop, above the ground crops. The second quarter of that, second half of that first half, is really good for um, plants that we're gonna harvest the fruit of. So tomato, eggplant, zucchini, uh, things that are all really relevant right now for like the heat, right, that I'm experiencing and, and that I'm seeing in Boise weather and around the country. We're obviously shifting out of spring a little bit uh, and coming into summer a little bit where there's, there's the shifting is happening, right? Um, growing to that solstice climatic moment of uh, light, at least. So this would be a great time. The sequence of elements and signs that we're going to see between now and the full moon is we're currently in Virgo, which is an earth sign. And then we'll go into an air sign of Libra, followed by a water sign of Scorpio, followed by the fire sign of Sagittarius right before the full moon. So how does this break down? Um, this is a great time to do any garden work in this Virgo sign. Most of it is going to be followed by an air sign and heat. So it's a good time to eradicate weeds that have maybe overgrown. Um, water everything now so the heat and the air sign can combine to help get eradicate weeds and uh, it's also just a good time for any sort of planting that you're doing um, and specifically to hot crops and so maybe that looks like um, just paying a little bit of attention to the tomatoes that you've already started or if you haven't like maybe um, getting some <laughs> and you could transplant them in your beds now I think the worry of the frost is over um, or you could keep them in your greenhouse if you think they're going to grow a little bit faster, depending on when you put them in. I would recommend that you transplant those in the water sign of Scorpio if you're going to in your main beds. And then in the fire sign, as we get into the full moon, um, you know, really kind of purging, like getting rid of what's not needed in the garden and in your life and in your body, right? And so I just find that the sequence of elements are really helpful coming into this full moon and whatever new moon intentions you may have set. Uh, they say sometimes that this uh, moon phase that we're in is the, the difficulty to start coming up with those intentions. And so maybe you're also seeing that in your garden space or in your life space and um, just walking all of those paths with grace. So uh, post any questions that you might have or disagreements. And I hope that you have a wonderful time gardening and I'll see you around. Thanks.